Welcome to my keychain. We got bananas, but no avocados. And I decided to take my boobies out. Don't look. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be making three different things. This is gonna be a bit like Hell's Kitchen, but like more of an emotional roller coaster. What are you? An idiot sandwich. More dramatic, more backstabbing, and it's just me. So I got some stuff for the baking. I just want to preface this by saying I'm not good at baking. I am not going to be applying for the next great British Bake Off baker. Although I'd love to be on that show just for the aesthetic. So there's three different things that we're making today. We're gonna to be making cookies. Now that's gonna be the hard one. And then I have like icing and stuff to try and make them kind of spooktastic. And then the second thing that I'm making is, um, second thing, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm making. Second thing that we're gonna be making is candy apples. It seems very American, but um, I've seen them here before as well. So I'm gonna make them a little bit different because I think they're made with caramel and I'm like, so instead we're gonna be making chocolate apples, which I think is a thing. I think it's a thing. Let's get into all the ingredients and what you'll need. Now, please do not follow these instructions. Do not follow any of the steps. This is just for entertainment purposes. I don't think this should be followed. I don't think this should be replicated. Um, the fire department's on standby. You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. All right, let's get into the ingredients. So the first thing we're making is cookies. Um, for this, we need brown sugar, which I don't have, so we're going with just regular granulated white sugar. It's all the same, really. Um, then after that, we need some butter softened, so I'll have to do that, I suppose. This doesn't come free soft, how dare they? Then we need some um, vanilla. So we've got our little Tesco vanilla here. Then I need some milk. Oh, he needs no. some got milk! Done store's milk. Ooh, mixing it up. I've got some flour. I enjoy cooking yeah. bacon and stuff, working with flour as Nadine Coyle would say. And then lastly, we need our chocolate chips. Now that's all you need for the entire recipe, which is crazy, because even on this one, it doesn't say to use eggs, although I might put some eggs in just because I feel like that can't not, that can't be right. No eggs. For the icing um, on top, because we're making them kind of more kind of Halloween cookies. So you know, the ones with like kind of the icing on top, it should look something like this. And then I got some food coloring gels. Um, don't know how great they're gonna be. Don't know how great I'm gonna be. There's a little close up of the makeup if you wanna have a look. Just in case you're wondering, it is a ghost or it's meant to be a ghost on each side. Um, cool. So let's get into it. We're gonna need the good bowl. <laughs> so already we have our first move of the video. The camera's moved slightly just so you can see what I'm putting into the ingredients and you can see these kind of high waist pants, okay? Hello, hello. So what we wanna do is start off at looking up the ingredients again because I forgot. Um, so they want one quarter cup of brown sugar. Let me go get a cup as a measurement. So here's a cup for reference that we've had for years. Um, someone bought it for me, I can't even remember who, but it says, cool Chris, and there's a little picture of me, and then there's a little sign on the back of it, and it says, you can't buy his coolness in any of the shops because Chris is so flippin' chilled and totally the tops. <laughs> so flippin' chilled, calm down, okay. It's official, it's on a cup, so. So we're going to do a quarter cup of sugar. Okay, and two tablespoons of butter, so there's one. There's two, okay, that's a lot of butter. Hello cholesterol, how are we? And then you want to put in the sugar, right? I mean, that doesn't, does that look right? Mama, this is garbage. Oh. Right here. <laughs> Eat up. So I guess I just mixed this up. You twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it and kiss it and kiss it and What was that? That was the title song of her album. That wasn't the moment that one song. Um she's actually got a new album coming out this month and I'm And the tweet as well, she was like, mm, might drop an album. What was the tweet? The tweet was something like, can't wait for you to hear my album this month. I'm like Arguably one of the biggest pop stars on the planet just was like, 
how cute my dropping album. As in terms of music this year, we've been we've been treated to a lot of stuff, Miss Thing. We've got Chromatica took us to a different dimension. We got is that Ali in the background? Then we had Dua Lipa as well, the future nostalgia. I think that was actually before. And Charlie XCX's album, how I'm feeling right now. Then Taylor Swift had her folklore. I didn't really. Anyway, did Katy Perry do something? I think Katy Perry tried it. Miley Cyrus did covers of like every single song. Heart of Glass cured whatever disease I didn't know I had, okay? And um, now we have Ariana Grande coming out with an album. Like honestly, all we need now is Lord to drop an album. That's it. Like everyone's kind of accounted for. Although I really do want a Kim Patrick's Halloween album and I'm still holding out, even though it's very, very close to like Halloween being over. I just wanna party, 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 party till I die. But you look, let's get the cookies done. Okay, next we're going in with the flyer. Flyer. So I had to upgrade to Mammy's wooden spoon. Pause for laughter, ha ha ha. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna get five tablespoons of flour because that's what the recipe calls for. Normally when I bake, which is like twice ever, you kind of sieve the flour over to give it rise. But because they're cookies, I don't think you're meant to do that because they're not meant to rise. Okay, that's one, two, three. These are really uneven. <laughs> okay, five. What's next? And then they want a pinch of salt, so. That looks like, that was probably too much. I just like twisting that. I want to see if I was powerful enough to twist her mind. Then one tablespoon of milk. We're just gonna uh, eyeball it. Just like we did with the cocktails. And they turned out perfectly, remember? Okay, this is the consistency we like to see, okay? There's not much there. Should I double up on everything? I'm going to redo what we just did. Rewind, rewind. <laughs> I remember that night, I remember that night. <laughs> if you don't watch, if you haven't seen Hamilton, go watch it. Okay, we're just gonna eyeball it, so sugar. Rewind, rewind. Oh. oh. Should I be wearing an apron? No, I'm okay, my boobies will protect me. I still haven't added eggs, because they never said to. I don't know, I just don't trust that. That's really weird to me. Eggs, even pancakes have eggs. Does cookies really not have eggs? Hey Google, is there eggs in cookies? On the website, thekitchen.com, they say, Eggs play an important role in everything from cakes and cookies to meringues and pastry cream. They create structure and stability within a batter. Okay, well, thekitchen.com, which I have never heard of before but seen legit, said to add an egg. I'm gonna add one egg just because. Is there definitely no eggs? Like, what the hell? <gasps> oh, supposed to preheat the oven. It's preheat the oven, just put it on. So, I put the oven on, there might be a little bit of a hum in the background but we need it because that's gonna be for the baking. Okay, so we got our little eggs. So I'll just do one because the recipe says none and Google said that they add structure and I don't have that much structure in my life. So if I can add just even the smallest ounce of structure in my life, that would be absolutely amazing. Now, I told myself to start with this, I'm gonna follow the recipe and just follow it properly. and. Classic me, I've just gone and eyeballed it. I've added stuff that's not on the recipe. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as they look the part, I can just say they taste good. Like, y'all won't know. I can just like, mmm, oh, they're so good. There's really no flavor to this, really. Who needs to go to sleep when I got you next to me? How do home bakers do it, honestly? It's too much. Now we're gonna add our drop of vanilla. Now I've done this before where I put way too much in. This time won't be nothing like the last one. That smells disgusting on its own. It smells like a public restroom! Okay, let me just do a little. Oh, that was probably too much. I don't even know, I don't know, because like, it's not looking the way I want it to. I already feel like giving up. We're gonna give you up. We're gonna let you down. Oh my God, not me Rick rolling all of you. <laughs> I always forget that song is like a trick. She's a ball. The recipe also said to fold the dough and just reminds me of that scene from Shit's Creek where she's like, fold it in. 
is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? What does fold in the cheese mean? He folds it in. I, I understand that, but how, how do you fold it? Do you fold it in half like a piece of paper and drop it in the pot, or what do you do? You take that thing that's in your hand, uh -huh. and you... If you say fold in one more time... It says fold it in! Oh, I get so tick, especially if that was my mom. Now we're adding the best part, which is... I accidentally bought dark chocolate chips before, and they were vile. They were, let me do a taste test. Mmm. That might have been the first thing that I ate today. I don't know how many you're to do. Well, that's all of them then. Realistically, I should have just bought cookie dough or cake mix because this is just not the tea. You know what? No. You know what? No. I feel like I'm conquering the world. Look at me, domesticated goddess. Oh my god, I could put this on my Tinder profile and be like, look at me, I can cook. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. Although I probably won't clean it up after this, to be honest. Do you know when people bake because they're trying to get their mind off something or they're like, oh, like, it, it helps me de-stress. This helps you de-stress. That helps you de-stress. That is a lie. You are lying to yourself. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. De-stress. This is taking years off my life, okay? So it's a good consistency now, so I'm going to roll it out and then do the little shapes. I'm going to try and do the shapes that I have in my head. Hello to another camera angle. I just thought this might be better for you to see me with the dough. Now the first thing you want to do with your dough is when you get it, that's just customary. This feels like I'm doing pottery, you know when they do that? Oh my god, I'm like Debbie Moore in Ghost. Oh my god, I'm like... Where's Patrick Swayze? Hello? It's Halloween, you're a ghost, where are you? Hello? Okay, I got the cookie cutters. I'm actually not sure if they're gonna help me or not because um, the shapes that I'm looking for is two different ones. I thought, what would be the easiest two things to do? There's actually three things, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna try all three. There's witch's hat, ghost, and pumpkin. Now, I feel like they're the easiest because I have the kind of colors to do those. And yeah, I think that's it. Witch's hat is gonna be a triangle. So let's do that. So I never got baking paper, so I just have these from when I was doing pride stuff. They're like cupcake holders but they're like rainbow colors. So I'm gonna just flatten them out and put each cookie on one, okay? And then it will look like a little rainbow. So that's kind of what the witch's hat looks like. I don't know about it, if it's gonna work or not. Maybe it needs to be a bit more tall and pointy. Does that look a little bit more like a hat? Okay, so for the pumpkin, I think I can use this cookie cutter. So hopefully that will stick on top. Well, that's the ghost. Hopefully it will look better when it's cooked and decorated. But um, that's the shape I could get on it, and it looks a little bit like an octopus, so. So I'm gonna make a couple more of each of these, and then I'll show you all of them. Okay, so here they are. We have some witch's hats, which were easier to make, so I made a couple of them. I made a big ass pumpkin there, I don't know why she went that big. So there's four witch's hats, three, pump, three and a half pumpkins, really. There's two snapshot logos. This one, I don't know, that looks a little bit like a willy. I, won't mention that, but I just did. Then I made, tried to make this, I was like, that might be cute. Hopefully you can tell it's a skull and cross. And then I decided I'll just make three normal cookies as well, as a comparison, as a control to this Halloween experiment. Okay, so they're successfully in the oven. We have four witches hats, three pumpkins, three cookies, two Snapchat logos, one skull and crossbones, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna look good. They're successfully in the oven. Dada has successfully, they'll cook, bake, whatever the terminology is. I don't know, I'm new here. So while they're baking, we're gonna prep for our next recipe, which is candy apples. So I bought these fun size apples in Tesco. Um, I'm not sure if you meant to buy red or green apples. I think red. Red seems a bit more autumn-y, fall kind of vibe. So Granny Smith, you can have the day off today, okay? We're on our pink lady buzz. Look at the size of them, they're so small. Look how small they are. Okay, no, not that one. You're bruised, Miss Thing. What happened to you? So what you want to do is just clean off the apples first. So because I don't want to use caramel, I decided I was going to use chocolate. Now I have seen people use chocolate before, so it should be okay. It's not an illegal move, okay? So I have this Tesco cooking milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. And um, I bought two bars, just in case, like... Oh my god, the way I opened it there looks like... I've got a golden ticket Cause, Cause I've got, got a golden, golden ticket. ticket I've got a chance to make my day Can you stop? The dog is licking out of the bowl Get out of here, I'm cooking So I saw this online, I'm not sure if it works But you get like a pot and a bowl And what you do is you put boiling hot water No, you boil the hot water in this 
and then you put this on top, this bowl on top with the chocolate in it and it should melt nicely. So let's get cooking. I'll just do one bar for now and if we need more we can melt, we can always melt more. You didn't see that. This tastes a little weird, can you eat cooking chocolate without? So there's our chocolate cut up into the bowl and every piece from the bar is definitely there, okay? Um, so because I'm not American, I'm gonna boil the kettle, then put the boiling water in and hopefully that will do the job and I'll put it on the stove if we need to as well, all right? Okay, so the kettle's boiled. Would anyone like a cup of tea? Sorry, it's, it'd be rude not to ask. I'm gonna fill it up, not all the way, but because the steam is the thing that melts the chocolate. Okay. So that's kind of working itself over. I'm gonna put it on the stove as well. Okay, so that brings us to our third item. Right now we have the cookies in the oven, we have the chocolate melting on the pot, and now I'm gonna be making the iced coffee, and also my head is melting, but here we go, okay? So this is gonna be the quickest recipe, and actually I need to make this because I need it. As a gay, I've almost gone 24 hours without a nice coffee, so it's time. So I'm not great at making iced coffee. This is the way I make it. It's just easiest for me because I'm not stuck at home, okay? So what you want to do is get your little Nescafe sachet. Ooh, move over rhymezone.com. I'm coming for your gig. Um, and then you want to just add it into a cup. Um, okay, and then I'm going to get your boiling water that you already had left over from your melting chocolate moment. And just add a small bit. I know I used to add cold water, but like it just didn't, it just kept getting congealed. So the hot water helps break it down a little bit more. That's my theory. But hey, that's just a gay theory. Next thing you want to do is get your skeleton jar. It has to be a skeleton jar, another jar will not work, okay? Unfortunately, especially for spook season. So now, you want to get your ice cube tray that you have in your fridge. Um, if you don't have an ice cube tray in your fridge, get one. Now, I like to add it up to the eyes with ice because I'm up to here with most things, so I think that makes sense. Then what you can go ahead and do is just add your mixture. You want to fill most of the way of it up with, with milk then. I use whole milk. Now, Miss thing, someone came for me and was like, oh, you use full fat milk? I have never heard it called full fat milk, except for one other time, and I was in a hotel in Kerry, and I can't remember what hotel it is, and honestly, I'll never go again. <laughs> Jury's in. I was sitting there having my breakfast, and he was like, would you like a tea or a coffee? And I was like, yes, I'll, like, I'll have a tea. And he was like, do you want um, low fat milk or, and I was like, oh, j just, just regular milk. And then he was like, full fat milk. And I was like, full fat milk? Whole milk, Miss Thing, because she's a whole brand new bitch, okay? And then the last thing you want to add is your pumpkin spice syrup. And that's going to give it that moment, okay? Then you want to give her an L mix. Then you want to screw on the top, because remember, we are gay and we need a top, so. Ugh. Don't even at me. I don't care. If this isn't the way to make it, I don't care. I love it. Mix it in. No, I did not. No, I did not. Oh my god, I'm dead. I tried to put it together with solid tape, but I'm dead. Oh, so maybe I won't be having any cookies because I just broke the chair. Okay, so there's a little bit of a burning smell off this moment. Oh, don't put it down on that. Safety first. Brainiac second. Does anyone remember that? I don't know what they do. Y'all won't be able to keep up with the camera angles. So yeah, ooh, ooh. Okay, this video is getting too chaotic. <gasps> a DPD driver. So the DPD driver, so a DPD driver just pulled up with a package for my sister. No one else answered the door for some reason, so I had to go get it, and I was like, hey, and he was like. And you know what, I, what was that? Okay. And I was like, bitch, this isn't even Halloween, this isn't even a scary look, this is a cute look, this is the boobies look. Maybe he just hasn't seen a queen this here. So where was I, yes. I got these apples and um, I forgot to get skewers for them. So we're doing a bit of a ghetto moment this Halloween. Just chew carefully, okay? So just gonna sit on the tip of the knife like that, be fine. And we're just gonna get some chocolate over it. Let's see how we get on. Oh, lovely, this looks gorgeous. One of your five a day, how are you? Happy Halloween. Like it looks cute. At least it's not an onion, did you ever see those like prank videos where they like give kids onions. I'm like, how is that a prank? That sounds awful. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Come get your chocolate apple on a knife. <laughs> Honestly, if COVID didn't cancel Halloween, I would have canceled it with this. I'm gonna go put them in the fridge and then we can check. I didn't check in those, hey Google, how long's left of the timer? 
Take it a minute. It looks like you don't have any timers set at the moment. What? Hey Google, how long's left of the timer? It looks like you don't have any timers set at the moment. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Google just decided she didn't set a timer when I clearly asked her to do it. And these are after falling all over the place and getting chocolate everywhere, all over the knives. The cookies are pretty much burnt. To be honest, the cookies are okay, it's just a burning smell, so I've opened the window. So this is how the cookies look. Um, I think that's okay, considering there was no timer set, and the literal burning smell was a thing. Oh, this is still hot. Okay, let me try and take a bite. So I'm gonna have to, oh my god. Not on my mouth, but. Actually, because I have some excess chocolate, let's... Ooh! Now there's a heart attack I can get behind. So I'm gonna let all the other cookies cool down, and then we'll do the designs on them, okay? Hi guys, so it's the next day. Um, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. It's just the next day I got kicked out of the kitchen, basically. And, um, yeah, I just completely forgot to film. And, um, I was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to do the other bit, so... And then I got tired and I didn't do it, so... Classic me. So I'm gonna do it now. I'm trying to set up the camera as best I can so you can see what I'm doing, see what's up. I don't have a second camera to do like an overhead tasty video moment. So I have the cookies in here. Now the rest have been eaten. Um, so my family didn't want me in the kitchen but they wanted to eat the cookies. I'm like, okay. Some of them want to use you. So I got one of each kind of thing. So this is the best ghost one. That was the best witch's hat one. This is Oh, just a regular one. I was like, what is this, honey? What is this, honey? What is this? That was just a regular cookie. And then we have the skull and crossbones that looks absolutely immaculate. So let's try and do them. Let's start off with just having a little taste test of the regular cookie. Not the freshers now, obviously, but she's good. I think I'll start off with the infant eating. What I was saying before I interrupted myself. I think I'll start off with it, the one that I would feel like is the most difficult. Or the most, the easiest even. Because I haven't got a feel for how these work yet. So these are like little piping icing stuff. So I don't really know, I need to do black and green I think for the witch's hat. I brought a knife and a spoon up as well. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like honestly, I've never done this before. Oh, I think I need to cut it. God's sake. Now, there we go. Okay. So that plastic's gone somewhere on the ground. Oh, gross. Why is it coming out like that? No, that's not it, sis. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was gonna- I thought she'd be thicker. She's very- she's very liquidy. That! Oh, look at that, honey. Is that a witch's hat? Yes. So that's not green at all. Does that look green to anyone? Let's try the orange, maybe. Oh, this is a nightmare. For the, whatever the other one was trying to do. What? What is going on? These are not coming out colours. Oh no, they're not coming out colours. Right, well that's, okay, that's the witch's hat done. I don't know. What about red? What are you doing? Because if the red doesn't work, that means I, I have food colouring gel. This isn't what I thought it was. It's food colouring gel. It's food dye. It's not icing. So I've just put all the food dye in this. Oh, it smells right. <laughs> I didn't just do all that, like, that just didn't happen. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. You know what, this actually makes perfect sense, just with the way the video went. I feel like that's completely... Right, well I can do the ghost, I've got vanilla. I've actually got vanilla. So I'll do the ghost, and I will do the skull. And we'll put the little bit of black dye in it, I'm sure that will be fine. Oh, I got a little bit of green. I forgot to put green on the knife. <laughs> Actually, I could mix the food dye with these colours. Okay. Okay, right. We're back in the game. We're back in the game. Oh my god, this icing smells unreal. I just want to eat it. I just want a big spoon. And I'm just going to shovel it into my mouth. So there's the ghost. And mix that. Okay, we've got... I've worked something out. So this one was the pumpkin one. This wasn't the regular cookie. 
This is so chaotic. I hate it. This is so humiliating. And I hate this color as well. It looks like some taco sauce or something and it doesn't look nice. Oh my god. So here's the pumpkin. Ooh, let's just keep going because I'm committed to this though. <laughs> that lovely pumpkin. Oh my god, guys. Freaking me out. It's a pumpkin. The skull's just white. So we'll just go back in with the same knife. No need to clean. Um, there's a little bit of orange in there. That's fine. Um, these are ones I prepared earlier for everyone. Um, if you can't tell, we have a witch's hat that's literally just soaked in food dye. Smells weird. We have this half eaten. <laughs> Excuse me. We have this half eaten pumpkin cookie that I thought was a regular cookie, but apparently it was. Loose. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. <laughs> Um, and then we have the ghost, obviously, very spooky. And then the skull and crossbones, so, you know what? A for F. Let's give it a little taste test though with the icing on it, I haven't done that. Mmm. Mmm. That's some good icing. She's a mammoth, of course. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, and if anyone wanted to know about the apples, they look like this. <laughs> They look great, actually, so let me try and not this. There's some flakes for the chocolate cookies. I don't even know how I'm going to try and bite into this. We're not even going to talk about that because it almost broke my teeth. Well, that's pretty much the video. If, I hope everyone had so much fun making their amazing pumpkin spice ice latte, their candy apples on a knife, <laughs> and their amazing cookies. Like, look at these. Honestly. Um, so I will be applying for the Great British Bake Off. And I do expect to get casted, actually. If you liked the video, please give it a like, share it with friends or family, show them these amazing recipes that we can recreate at home during this Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Have an amazing, blessed, spooky day, guys, okay? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>